everyone and welcome back to my channel this is elevate with kp parker and we're gonna do i told you that we're gonna do a series it's a look and a lesson so we're gonna get a lesson today and a look um i've already moisturized and prepped my face for my foundation we're gonna use the huda beauty foundation we're gonna just hop into the video y'all hit the like buttons and subscribe button so you'll be notified when i upload another video and i'm so happy for all the support that i'm getting from my channel but yes i told you in 2022 this channel was going to a learning channel so what we're going to talk about today and everything that i talk about from this channel is something either i've been through or i'm walking through it now so what we're going to talk about is seven signs seven warning signs that you're dealing with a narcissist and everybody may not know what a narcissist is but it's been coming up a lot and i told you that i am examining myself because my thing is to become a better person for myself for my grandchildren for people that i'm employed with for people that are under me just lead by example and you have to really examine yourself and i think at one point in my life i think that i had some of these traits and if you don't know what a narcissist is a narcissist is described as a person who has an excessive interest or admiration of themselves narcissists can be incredibly harmful to people in relationships i couldn't keep a relationship and i know why now but i've been married for 13 years so i know it's something that i have overcome but i want to talk about it because it's been coming up and books that i'm reading it's been coming up a lot and narcissists y'all are really harmful people emotionally not physically but emotionally so you really want to know the warning signs when you're dealing with one or you're dating somebody with these signs. You really need to be careful. So a narcissist is, a, is, a, a, is described as a person who has an excessive interest or admiration of themselves. Always bragging about themselves. It's always about them. Always about me, 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 me. Like you have a friend and you say, hey, my foot hurting. And your friend say, but my big toe is hurting. You know, it's always a comparison. It's always about them. Those are signs of a narcissist. And I'm gonna give you the seven warning signs that I have. Everything is about them. That's number one. Everything is about them. No matter what conversation, I used to have a friend and no matter what I was going through, she was going through it twice as hard or twice as much as what I was going through. Extremely low levels of empathy. They have no empathy for you, no sympathy. If you're going through something, it just, it doesn't matter to them. For other people, but they want you to be sympathetic to them now, but they're not sympathetic to you and your problem because it's, again, it's about them. Let me tell you, it kind of reminds me of, this is my first time using this, you guys. This is the Beauty Beauty Foundation um, Concealer and this is in Honey. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes, but a narcissist, as I was looking and reading and um, really studying on it, kind of reminds me of Job. Do you remember the book of Job? When Job lost everything and Everybody loved him when he was up, when he was a king and he had money, he had all these children, he had all these uh, materialistic things. But once he lost it, he started talking about I, I, like people love me when I had this and this is what I'm going through. You know, I think that when you become a narcissist, I think that there's several different, you're not born one, but I think it's several situations that kind of comes up in your life that brings these certain characteristics into your personality. Like for instance, I know for me, just being single, you know, for, I, I didn't get married till I was in my 40s. So just being single for 40 some years, raised and five kids by myself you know everything I know was about me you know the kids would go through something and I would say but well, what about me I you know I'm hurting because I'm raising y'all by myself you know and I feel sorry for my kids because I know that I did them like this now that I know better of course I do better and I have apologized but again you know it, I wasn't born like that it's just like Joe, it's because of something he went through. And I'm not saying that they're bad people, but it's hard to date, I'm gonna say that. And it's very draining and emotionally uh, damaging to your, to your spirit, okay? The third thing is they boost their self-esteem by lowering yours. So they boost their self-esteem by lowering yours. Always got something negative to say about you. Always write about certain situations, okay? The fifth thing is self-centered. Self um, You know that there's a lot of people that self-centered, everything is, about them, they talk about themselves, their accomplishments, 
and I, I can be honest with you. Like I said, if I'm talking about something, it's something that either I've been through or something that I'm going through now. And I know that was me at one time because after I got my degrees, that's all I talked about was my degree. So I felt entitled, self-centered, you know, and I told you emotional intelligence video that that's something that definitely was wrong and I had to correct Number six, a narcissist dominate a conversation and demand attention. You ever met somebody that demands attention in everything that they do? It's about them, their attention, they need attention, always a seeking attention, a narcissist. Oh, this is a good one. They appear to be very alluring and attractive, especially during the first stages of the relationship. So during the first stages of the relationship, they are so sweet and so just alluring. Um, you just wanna be around them all the time until you get to know them and the true self starts coming out, you'll see this is not what you want. And I'm not saying that a narcissist can't change because they can, but they have to first recognize the sign. They have to recognize that they are a narcissist. And this is a real subject. It's a psychology subject. I told you that I, right now I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to study certain things that interest me. So um, number eight, high sense of entitlement. Again, we kind of talked about that. They have a high sense of entitlement and I told you I went through that when I got my master's degree. I felt like I was entitled to get a job at my last job. I felt like I was entitled to get a job in HR and I wasn't entitled to nothing. So I've been through that before. They are always right and they try really hard to make you believe that they are. Have you ever known somebody that you know in your heart, you know that they're wrong and what they're saying, but they're so convincing that you almost convinced that they write. That's a narcissist. They are so smooth and they convince you. And you know in your heart that it's wrong what they talking about. But they have a way of convincing you. And they turn people against you. Especially people that praise you. If they're with you and they're in a relationship with you, they turn people against you. They don't want you to have friends. And they turn people against you that love you because they want all the attention. They want all the praise to go to them. The last one is they have an emotional detachment. So it's emotional detachment where they're not emotionally tied to anything or anybody so these are the seven signs of dealing with a narcissist. And I can tell you this, from experience and everything that I've read, there's so much to go into, but everything that I've read, if you're dealing with somebody with these signs, everything must be about them. Extremely low levels of empathy. They boost their self-esteem by lowering yours. Excessive, obsessive, bragging on themselves. Self-centered. Dominate a conversation and demand attention. They appear to be very alluring and attractive, especially during the first stages of the relationship. High sense of entitlement, so, so you better run. You better run. Because emotionally, that's a, mo a lot of emotional baggage. And you don't want to deal. you rather hurt now than hurt later. If you fall in love with a narcissist, you'd rather hurt now than hurt later. Run. I'm telling you to run. So that's my lesson for today. And I'll be back with the final look. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope that you got some nuggets out of the video. I hope that you understood it and I wasn't all over the place. But yeah, this is Elevator KP Parker. This is the look that we're gonna wear today. So you got a lesson and a look. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Help you, girl. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone. And talk to you later until the next video. Mwah.